click on the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the latest update from this channel. Hello friends, today I am going to show you how you can bypass FRP lock on Galaxy Note 9. First of all, we need to connect our mobile with Wi-Fi. As you can see, I am just going to connect my Wi-Fi. I am just giving my password over here. So just connect it. Now just connect your USB cable and open Samsung FRP tool in computer. The link is in description. You can download it from there. And as you can see, it's now installing the drivers of your phone. So wait for to finish it. After the after the finish of installation, we need to click on bypass FRP. Just wait a little bit. Now click on bypass FRP and it will show a pop-up message on your screen. As you can see, here is the message. So just click on view and it will let you go to google chrome so just uh, unplug the usb cable and uh, just click on accept and continue you just click on accept and continue next no thanks it will let you go to the Google Chrome. Here we need to find the FRP Facel from facelmobile.com. Click on the first link and it will let you go to my website. So just scroll down and you will find here open settings app. So just click on it. It will let you go to the mobile settings. So here we need to open the accounts and backup then we need to click on smart switch here and click download it will take a little bit time depends on your internet speed how much it will take time so just wait to finish the download it will take a little bit so just wait when it finish then i will tell you what to do next Now our smart switch is open, just click and allow, click on receive data, galaxy, cable and now we need to connect it with the OTG cable from one side and the other mobile is Note 10 Lite, I already installed smart switch so just uh, connect it with the other end and now it will send data as you can see. For this process you need to have C type OTG, OTG connector and then select accounts, settings and documents and then transfer. It will take a little bit time so you need to wait for the finish as you can see it's asking for the Google account. Uh, password which we have in our other mobile note 10 Lite. so just give your password and it will transfer all your accounts and data from note 10 to note 9 for this method you need one OTG cable one USB cable and one mobile so you can transfer from smart switch to smart switch now it will take a little bit time depends on your data so it will finish soon so if this method work for you you must comment down on which date you did this like uh, 21 June 2021 like this you can comment so other can get help I will also pin your comment. 
now all is done just go to the home screen and unplug the usb cable and just set up your mobile and it will let you go to bypass your frp lock so i am just going to set up it and when it finish i come back to you so this is the final method till now so you can apply this method on other mobiles also as you can see our count is added and uh, if you get any problem you can comment me uh, hopefully i will answer you and this mobile have latest security patch first march 2021 so hopefully it will work for you and if you get latest security you can check my other videos on my channel now our phone is successfully started so there is no lock at all there is no frp lock or google lock you can see go to settings about and here we can see our mobile version and software information here is the android 10 and you can check the security patch first march 2021 so hopefully you like the video if you like the video do subscribe like and share see you in the next video till then bye bye